What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness playing as Austria. And let's go ahead and unpause it. So, last couple episodes, we had conquered Abu Dhabi up here. And right now, we're currently working on burning off some of our infamy. So, currently at 8.35. And we need to let that run off a little bit. We are currently the fifth best power in the whole world behind France. And we're also building some more armies. So let's go ahead and try to consolidate those really quickly. All right, so we have to, there is a crisis and we have to declare interest. Uh, let's check it out. Oh no, it looks like it just pieced out, actually. So that's good news. I don't want to have to mess with that. Okay. Uh, let's also take this guy. Put him over there. There you go. Got a nice little 42 stack sitting in Italy here. We do own this little chunk, the heel of the boot. And we are currently allied with Russia, France, and Netherlands. Montenegro here is in my sphere. They keep trying to uh, grab an alliance with me, but I really don't see a point because... And we're also working on updating the Navy, by the way. Um, I don't really see a point because they are in my sphere. They're so small. They're not going to... Okay. We just grabbed a core. The Brescia area has been under Austrian control for some time, and now, after many years, it does seem that the citizens of the province themselves consider Austrian rule to be the only legitimate rule there is. The province is now part of our patrimony. Awesome. In that last crisis that I just mentioned... It looks like Greece was able to pick up this territory from Ottoman Empire. That's interesting. Ottomans are in the French sphere currently, so... Also, it's August 1910, so quickly approaching the Great War years from a historical perspective, but... What I was going to say is the uh, campaign is unfortunately going to be coming to a close in the next couple of episodes for that reason. And it looks like France built the Panama Canal. Yes, they did. Huh. Um, just because the game only runs until I think the year 1920-something, 30-something. getting kicked out of Poland. What else is new? We currently own, um, we, do, we don't own, but Serbia is one of our um, sphere members as well as a satellite. Wallachia is a sphere member. Oh! Looks like we just got a humongous revolt. Jacobian rebels. Whoa! Alright, let's start cleaning this up. This should be pretty easy, but annoying nonetheless. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay, we won all of these battles, which is awesome. On to the next ones. Okay. Let's bring him all the way down there. Boom. Okay. And he'll go up there. He'll go up there. Okay. That gets us good for the next round, it looks like. 
Anything going on in the Middle East? Does not look like it. 32 stack, a Dutch 32 stack. Okay, unpause. Win all of those battles. Ooh, game flashpoint tension, that's interesting. South Tyrol. We will maintain control, damn it. Um, actually, let's put you there. You there. You're going there. Um, you're going to go there. And it looks like that's it. Okay. Unpause. We have done really well this campaign, though, overall. We did not really get... Okay, that looks like it finished out the, uh, the revolts there. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's one in the corner. So... Overall, though, I'm happy with how the campaign has gone. We are number five in the world. We also own this piece of Italy. We have built the Suez Canal, which is awesome. You can see it right there. We've conquered this part of Egypt. Here. And all of this part of the Middle East. And... What else? Oh yeah, we do own this little chunk of Africa right there. And this is going to help us with our oil production. Definitely. Definitely, as we get closer to being able to build tanks and shit. So, yeah, I can actually build tanks now. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and build some. So, nice little uh, set of tanks there. Waiting on aeronautics to build an airplane. Airplanes in this game, they really don't do much in terms of damage, but they do help... They do help your reconnaissance scores if you attach them to your army. Yeah. So... France is in an alliance with us, but they really don't like us right now. What's that all about? Why does France hate me? Increase relations. Increase relations with Germany. Uh, if you remember back from a couple episodes ago, UK used to be our ally, but they threw us out. Threw us out. So... Okay, we're gathering goods for construction on these tanks. So, we're going to have to wait a little while. Increase opinion of Poland. I'll try to sphere their asses. And then the Ottomans as well. Cordial in both of those areas. That is so weird. Why does France not like us? We have a Cassus Belly against them. I'll continue to try to increase relations. Yeah, uh, Germany continues to not like us. Mainly because we're allied with France. Long live the Emperor. After the brilliant Viet Viennese designer Joseph Urban began working on the Boston Opera Company, design in the American theater took on a decidedly continental approach becoming more dynamic, colorful, and exciting experience. Cool. I will take the free prestige. Okay, cool. Yes, we will attend the Olympic Games. Oh, I'm, I'm catching up. K 
catching up with France. So, um, interesting. Germany formed pretty quickly. But look at all of this territory, this humongous chunk of France they've taken. That is the Alsace-Lorraine times a billion. France does have some African colony holdings. Madagascar, of course. Sort of central Africa. They've got this nice Algerian colony right here. Um, research of anti-rationalism. Keep our research points going. Greece. Okay, Greece currently doesn't have anyone, you know, in their sphere or anyone having them in their sphere. Not allied or at war with anybody. That could be a target. Do I want to take the infamy, though, and risk losing my allies again? Let's see who... I'm going to take this relations map mode. Okay, Russia likes Greece a lot, so that would piss off Russia if I were to go to war with them. The Ottomans hate them. France hates them. Interesting. Alright, so for now... Let's just see my options. acquire a state from them. What state would I want, though? What state would I want? Let's see. Can't take Attica here. That's where the capital is. We could go after Macedonia, but France did back them up in the acquisition of Macedonia here. Or we could try to grab Peloponnese. This little island section. I don't know. I st I'm still at a six infamy right now, though, is the problem. Okay, there's a crisis. And apparently a revolt. Alright, let's look at the crisis first. Greece again. Germany is backing the Ottomans. Russia has gone in on the Greece on the Greece side, so I'm assuming France will jump in over here and Britain will jump in on the Ottoman side. How about Italy? They should go on our side. Hopefully this white piece is out. This could be ugly. You're looking at World War One right here. Damn it, Greece. We will try another expedition. Okay, not... Not much heating up. Yeah, as suspected, the UK did jump in on the German and Ottoman side. You know, I almost, if it gets really bad, I'm almost going to go like against my allies here. Germany and UK together, that's unstoppable. Germany alone in a land war, a European land war, is unstoppable. So, if we did go to war, maybe if Italy would jump in, maybe I could take a chunk of Italy. That would be sweet. Okay, so I just noticed Persia. We can increase opinion there. So we're now up to cordial there. I'd like to get them in my sphere. It's all about the oil. Any revolts down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. 
That's good. Let's see what else is going on in the world. Spain currently dealing with some riots there. Doesn't look like a big deal. Oh wow, look at Peru. Peru getting taken to the house by Colombia. And Ecuador. Ecuador looks like it's being occupied by Peru somewhat. Colombia's down here cleaning that up. And look at this. Canadian Colombia is still an independent country in the United States sphere. And then you've got British Canada, of course. Um, you've got some rebellions going on over here in this... Uh, here in the Philippine Islands. And hold on one second, guys. My alarm keeps trying to go off. Okay. Jesus. And New Zealand. Ooh. It'd be fun to take over New Zealand. Get a Pacific holding. Acquire a state. They're a supple target. Look at this. No allies. Nobody in the sphere. Okay, we do have a... Huh, another revolt. Not a big deal. Crush it. They will crush it. And it looks like we overtook France as a power. We did. Barely, but I will take it. Alright, so the crisis continues. We're halfway in. France still hasn't jumped in. Once France makes a move, which I'm suspecting they'll go over here. Okay, there is a white piece. And Greece, I don't think, picked up any additional territory there, so we are okay. All right, just finished up research of anti-rationalism. Let's go with electric power generation. Bala. Okay. So... Potential targets. Um, France hates us even more, which is ridiculous. Gain inf one infamy or lose five prestige? That's the question. Uh. We'll lose the prestige, it's only five. Russia? They still like us. But why is we used to be around a two hundred with them? We're down to one fifty. That's okay. Russia is still barely a great power at this point. And France. What's up, bro? Don't tase me, bro. We actually have great relations with the uh, Germans, but we both have too many alliances. I've got some infamy, which hurts, and political considerations, whatever the probably means because I'm allied with France. All right. Oh, we can do a reform. Uh, let's see which one most of the people want. Probably this one, wealth, 6.36% of the population wants that. Oh, censored press, 10.6% wants that. Okay, we'll do censored press. Nice, I like being number four. Still quite a ways away from USA. UK and Germany are untouchable. That's like a super strong alliance. I want to be in on that side. 
if I was allied with um, Germany and UK, we'd be moving on Greece or New Zealand. Love to see those countries that don't have any protection. So that's a Spanish satellite, so. Um. Okay, Russia and Italy duking it out for the bottom of the pack there. Japan moving up nicely. Always interesting to see them. Okay. I can increase opinion in Uruguay and in Poland as well, so. Poland will not come into a alliance with me. And let's go to Uruguay. Here. Add them to my sphere. Cool. Now I have a piece of South America. You know, while I'm thinking about it, let's boost our um, influence with Brazil. They currently are not in a sphere, but they are allied with the British and Chile. How are those tanks coming? I don't know if those tanks are even being built, are they? I don't think so. We don't have the correct materials. So let's build um, let's build some in Africa. Let's get another infantry stack going. And we can also boost research shift work. We do need to update our commerce. Um, we can't update anything militarily until 1919. Wow. That's a while. Make those factories a little more efficient. Okay, guys. So uh, this is where we're going to go ahead and cut the episode. Um, not a whole lot going on in terms of wars at the moment, but we are cleaning up and preparing. Possible targets include Greece, maybe New Zealand. it would be interesting to see. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this content, and we'll see you next time.